Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to deal with voice. This is voice part two. In the first part, I have dealt with the transformation of assertive sentence into passive, and today I will be dealing with interrogative sentences and imperative sentences. How to transform interrogative sentences and imperative sentences into passive and vice versa. So first, starting with interrogative sentences. What is interrogative sentences? The sentence which asks question or which ends with question mark is known as interrogative sentences. So now let's understood understand the transformation of interrogative sentences from active into passive with the help of examples. Interrogative sentences. So first of all, as I told you, interrogative sentences are the sentence which asks question or which ends with question mark. So, as we know, there are two type of interrogative sentences. We have two form of question. One which can be answered in yes or no, and the another which requires statement for answer. It can't be answered in yes or no. We need statement for its answer. So first, I will consider the first case. That is the question which required yes or no for answer. So let's take first example. Is he doing the work? Is he doing the work? So this question can be answered in yes or no. You can say. Yes or no. So let's see how to transform this sentence, this given sentence, into passive. So what we will do, what trick I will use over here is whatever auxiliary is used to form question. Here in this sentence, in the given question, is is used to form question. So whatever auxiliary will be used to form question, you will. Copy down just below it. You will not change it position. So is will come below it, and after that we will use all the six rules which I have given. So what was that six rules? So the first rule was that the subject will become object, and the object will become subject. So here we have who is subject, who is doer of this action. He is the doer, and what is the object? That is. The work is object over here, and after that, what is being said? The second rule says that change. There will be no change in tense. It means if the given sentence is in present tense, it will remain in present only even after transformation. So this sentence is in present tense, so it will be in present tense only, and hence we will use auxiliary of present tense. That is is. M R. The third rule says that third form of verb will be used, and after that, since it is continuous tense, we will use being in it, and a preposition that is by will be used. So what we have to do according to the first rule, the object will become subject. So the object is the verb, so it will come over here after is. So is the work. After that, it is continuous tense. So being will be supplied. The work, sorry, is the work. And after that, since the given sentence is in continuous tense, and therefore being will be supplied, is the work being. And after that, third form of verb, that is the past participle form of verb, will be supplied. That is done. Is the work being done? And after that, a preposition that is by. And then subject becomes object. So objective form of verb, objective form of he is him, and then question mark. So this is how we can transform the given interrogative sentence into passive form. So it's quite simple. What we have done first of all, the word, the auxiliary which is used for in order to form the question, we have copied down just as it is below the auxiliary only. And after that. we have worked upon the six rules which i have given you in the last video that is the object has become subject of the passive 
and after that the given sentence was in continuous tense and therefore being is supplied and third form of verb is always supplied in passive form and therefore done is supplied over here and after that a preposition is used and then the subject of active has become object of this passive sentence so now let's take another example example 2 the second example is has he broken the glass again this question as you can see can be answered with the help of yes or no now as i have said you in the first example what we have to do we have to copy down auxiliary just below it there will be no change in place of the auxiliary which is used to form question so has is copied just below it and after that we have he as subject in this given question and the glass as object so what we will do the object of active voice becomes subject of the passive voice and therefore has the glass and the given statement the given question is in perfect tense it is in perfect tense and therefore in case of perfect tense we use been so therefore has the glass been and after that verb here in the question we have broken and in passive always past participle form of verb is used and therefore again we will use broken over here has the glass been broken and after that preposition by will come and after that the subject of the active voice will will, will become the passive sorry the object of passive voice so we have he as subject and therefore it will become him as object in passive voice so this is how we can transform the given question into passive voice the question which can be answered in yes or no now let's move to the another type of question that is the question which requires a statement the question which require a statement for its answer now i have discussed the first sort of question that is the question which can be answered in yes or no so now we are i am going to discuss the second question that is the question which require statement a complete statement for its answer so now let's take the first example that is the first example is who broke the window so this question can't be answered in yes or no we will have to give full statement in order to answer this question so we have to again use the same trick what we have done with the first sort of question first type of interrogative sentences what we have done we have copied down the word which is used to form question so here we have who and the objective form of who is whom and therefore what we will do we will write here by whom so by whom and here we can see this is second form of verb that is the past form of verb is used in the given sentence which means that the given sentence is in past tense and therefore even the passive of this given sentence will remain in past only and therefore we will use the auxiliary of past so by whom was was will be supplied and after that the window the window is object here in this sentence it will become the subject of the passive voice so by whom was the window broken and sometimes most of the time a student makes this mistake and this is a common mistake made by all students what they used to do they used to do write it by whom the window by whom the window was broken so this is the common error which is made by most of the students so don't do this why don't do this because here you are why this statement will be wrong because here in this statement what you are doing you are altering the basic structure of question what you are doing whenever wh word is used for making question it will always be followed by auxiliary so here you are what you will be doing here this after this wh word the subject is coming not the auxiliary and therefore you are altering the basic structure of interrogative sentence and hence the sentence is ungrammatical 
so whenever wh word is used to form question after that definitely use auxiliary not any other word of the sentence now let's take second example the second example is when will you return the book return the book so what we will do here in this sentence again wh word is used to form question and this question can't be answered in yes or no so as i have told you in the first example what we have to do we have to copy down this wh word which is used to form question so again when will come just below it when and after that what we have to do we have to the we have to use auxiliary which i have told you just right now auxiliary or model will follow the wh word so when will is used over there here in the given sentence so here we will use will so when will the book the book is object in the given question and you is the subject over here and return is the verb so what we will do we will make the object of the given statement of the given question as subject of the passive statement so what we will do it the of book will become subject over here so when will the book be returned by you so the passive form is when will the book when will the book be returned by you so what we have done we have just copied the wh word which is used to form question just below it we have not changed it place and after that i as i said you that wh word will always be followed by models or auxiliary and therefore what we have done we have used will and as we know according to the fourth rule which i have said you in the which i have given you in the last video it states that b is used with models and here we have used b in this passive voice so when will the book the book was object in the active and here it has become subject in the passive one so when will the book be returned returned is the third form and after that preposition we have used that is by and you which was subject in the given question has become object of the passive form so this is how we can transform the given statement into passive the given interrogative statement into passive now let's take third example that is what does he eat so again what we will do we will copy down what we will not change the place of what it will remain in its place only what and after that does is used in this sen sentence it means that it is the given sentence is in present tense and therefore as auxiliary is am or are will be supplied what is eaten by so the passive form is what is eaten by him here what we have done we have not changed the place of what it will, it will remain in its place only and as does indicates that the given statement is in present tense and therefore we have used is as auxiliary after wh word and it is verb in the given statement and therefore third form of verb is supplied and by is used as preposition and he was subject in the given question and therefore we have used the objective form of this question sorry of he and therefore it has become he so this is how you can transform the given statement the given interrogative sentences into passive form now we will discuss imperative sentences that how to transform the given imperative sentences into its passive form so now now we have imperative sentences generally two type of imperative sentences will be given the one with object first will be with object and the second will be without object so here we will see that how to transform the sentence the imperative sentence with object and without object into passive form so first let's consider the case of with object so let's take first example 
so the example is bring a book bring a book so as you can see here in this statement bring is verb and a book a book is object so this is what i mean by with object so this statement this sort of statement will have object with it it means the given sentence will be will have transitive verb so now what we have to do whenever the statement whenever the question carries object with it so while transforming that given sentence into passive what we will do we will take help of let so let will be supplied while transforming the sentence having object in it so what will be the passive form let a book be brought so what we have done let we have used in starting so whenever the sentence will have an object and if it is imperative sentence then what we will do we will supply let and after that the normal rule with rules will go that is a book was object it will become subject and after that b will be supplied always whenever you will use let in the sentence we will use b with it and after that the verb was bring and the third form of verb is used over here that is brought so this is how we can transform the given statement the given imperative sentences into passive if it have object with it so now let's take another example that is so the second example is bring a glass of water so again here you can see in this example we have verb as bring and a glass of water as object so again as i told you in the first example what we will be doing we will use let so let a glass of water be brought so as i told you in the first example what we have done as we have object over here in this imperative sentence and that's why let is supplied and as, as i told you that whenever let will be supplied we will use be with it and after that the object of the sentence was a glass of water and therefore we have made it subject in the passive form and bring was there in the question and therefore the third form of bring that is brought is used over here now let's let's do another example that is the third example is open the door open the door again here you can see that we have the door as object and open as verb so again same rule we will follow that is we will supply let in the in the passive form that is let the door b opened so again we have done same thing we have supplied let as the sentence had object with it and after that we have used b and the door was object of the given question and therefore it has become subject in the passive form and after that third form of open that is opened is been supplied so now let's stick now let's discuss the second type of imperative sentence the sentence which will which will not have object in it so let's take first example that is stand up so whenever we have this type of a statement the statement which do not have any object here you can see we don't have any object in this given question so what we will do in this type of question we will use you are requested or ordered what we will use you are requested or ordered or ordered to whatever will be in the statement that you will that will follow after it so what we have over here you are ordered to stand up so this will be the passive form so depending upon the sense depending upon the question if you sense that it is a request then you can use requested if you sense that it is a sense of order you can use ordered so and why you are ordered is being supplied from where does it come so as we can see that a stand up is not a complete statement whenever you will use it whenever you will make a complete statement using this stand up then what you will see 
I order you to stand up. So if you will write it in a complete complete statement, what you will write? I order you to stand up. To stand up. But generally, while speaking, while communicating, we say stand up. We don't take this lengthy statement. That is, I order you to stand up. And therefore, you are ordered to stand up. But while we will while we will convert the sentence into passive we will use the full statement so now let's take second example that is second example is go there so again here you can sense that there is a sense of order in this statement so what will be the passive form that is the passive form is you are ordered to go there so it's quite simple whenever we don't have whenever you don't have any object in the given question what you will do you will just write you are requested or ordered to and after that whatever will be there in the given question that will follow after it so this is what i have done you are ordered to and after that i have just copied what is there in the question that is to go there even the first example i have done the same thing you are ordered and after that to stand up you are ordered to is the structure and after that whatever will be there in the given question that will follow so let's take third example please so the third example is please sit down so as you can see over here in the given question we have the word please it means the speaker is requesting to the person and therefore we will not use ordered over here instead we will use request word over here so you are requested to sit down so again we have done same thing you are requested to and after that sit down was there in the question and this is what we have copied it after you are requested to so this is how you can transform the given imperative sentences into passive form we have two cases that is the one with object and another without object when we had object in the question in that case we have used let and when we don't have object in the given question in that case we will use you are requested or ordered to so this is how you can transform the given imperative sentences into passive form so this is all about this video i hope you have understood what i have taught today and if you have any doubt write in my comment box thank you